Welcome back everybody, Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're getting geared up to go archery hunting. Uh, I'm going to be heading up north, I think on Saturday morning, although it's possible I may go tomorrow afternoon. We're sitting Thursday afternoon. It just finally stopped raining after three or four days of rain. So I'm out here in my backyard. I've got my uh, crossbow out and I've got my uh, bog field pod out and my target. We're going to go ahead and fire off at least one sight in round just to make sure my sights are still dead on from last year. So come on with me and let's take a look at how this thing is shooting. So here's my crossbow. I'm shooting a center point crossbow. It's their Sniper Elite 370 Whisper Edition. So you know it's supposed to be shooting 370 feet per second. Um, it's got the standard scope on it. Been a really good crossbow. Last year I had this thing sighted in and we were shooting dead nuts on at 20 yards and I have no reason to believe that the scope has been bumped or anything. I keep it in a case and I really uh, pay close attention to not bumping it and that kind of thing but I'm not going to just head out to the woods without firing at least one shot to make sure I'm still doing well. So I've gone ahead and set it up. I'm using my bog field pod here. Excellent. Uh, device for rifles and crossbows so we'll be able to just set that thing on there and steady it I won't have to worry about whether I was wiggling around or whatever so my shot will be true so I got my hurricane 425 target crossbow target here picked that up this year you know we've got quite a number of uh, targets up north at the uh, at the shooting range but I wanted to have one for my backyard so I picked this one up this year so let's go ahead and set this thing up we'll set it down range 20 yards and we'll get set up and take a shot so there's our shot 20 yards I got my range finder out we're 20 yards right on the nut so we'll go ahead and use the top crosshair this has got multiple crosshairs so if your yardage is going out, you know, you drop down a crosshair. So uh, this should be good. We're going to go ahead and zero it right in on 20 yards and see how she's shooting. Just so you know, our backdrop is my building. So if it goes through, it's hitting the building. If I miss it, it's hitting the building. So no worries there. Okay, let's get her all cocked up, loaded up, and take a shot. Let's put arrow number one down range, bolt number one, folks. We're sitting here at 20 yards. Where it go. Nice long trigger pull. See what we got. Looking like a bullseye to me, folks. <clears throat> From where I'm standing, that's looking like a bullseye, or close enough to call it. I don't think I have to take another shot. Why mess with it? That's what you call one and done. Here's my tree pod. You can see it's bolted to the floor. Just one. Set in there. The good thing about this is you don't have the tripod legs in front of you. I can scooch right up underneath it. By scooching underneath it, you got total control. Okay, it's Friday. Late morning. It's about 11.26. I've 
made the change. So I've moved from north to south. Here's my blind, here's my setup. Just like I have in the other blind. Great setup. <laughs> 